I'm Molly McHugh and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Nintendo says not so fast to a web-based Super Mario Bros. recreation, T-Mobile offers free data to tablet users for life, and a drink that promises to replace food as we know it. A whole host of Super Mario Bros. knockoff games litter the internet, but the latest one does an amazing job of recreating the 8-bit original brick by brick, and for that it will most surely suffer. Full Screen Mario started off as a small project for Josh Goldberg, a college student in New York. He built all 32 of the original levels and put it up on Reddit a couple of months ago. About a week ago, his site blew up and now it sees nearly half a million users a day. So of course, Nintendo took notice and asked Goldberg to pull the site. Now, this is an obvious case of copyright infringement, but an increasingly large number of people are playing the web-based Mario game and, of course, enjoying it. So instead of being the big Bowser here, why doesn't Nintendo give the game its blessing and maybe even buy an ad or two on the site? The uncarrier is at it again. T-Mobile's John Ledger has announced yet another innovation in mobile data that customers are sure to love. Tablets can have 200 megabytes of data from T-Mobile for free with no strings attached. As long as you have a compatible tablet, including the new iPad Air, you're eligible. And that means you don't even have to be a paying customer of T-Mobile. Users will have to create an account with the provider, and the catch here is that T-Mobile is betting users will chew through the relatively small 200 megabytes of data and then opt to pay for more. Even so, a contract-free data plan that is essentially a pay-as-you-go will probably get a good number of tablet users to sign up. Before you ask, is it made from people, the answer is of course no. The creators of this new meal replacement drink, Soylent, call it food without the hassle. Because sometimes, yes, you have to admit it, taking time to eat a nutritious meal just isn't in the cards. But Soylent isn't designed to be a single meal replacement. It's designed to replace food entirely. Yeah, as in three times a day, 21 times a week. It contains all the essential nutrients a person needs to live. Rob Reinhardt created the drink and actually lived off the stuff for an entire month last year. He says it tastes great, and it had better taste like apple pie wrapped in a bacon-topped jelly-filled donut if I'm going to stop eating real food. Soylent is scheduled to start shipping in December, and a one-week supply will cost 65 bucks. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.